the first of the ships carrying the East India Company's tea that w w was going to be arriving in Boston in November. And so at that moment, Bostonians begin saying, should we call a town meeting? Well, we're not scheduled to hold town meetings in November. What should we do? Um, and also so many people are interested in this that they say, well, we can't fit in Faneuil Hall. Let's go meet in the Old South Meeting House, which is the biggest building in town. Um, so hundreds of people are interested in doing this. And so they don't convene, they, they convene at first as a formal town meeting. But then eventually, as you get into late November and December, they're convening as the body of the people. Um, so a technically illegal meeting so that the town would have plausible deniability about whatever happened. Yes, these protests were going on, but these weren't official town meetings. So the town meeting, so the, the um, these weren't official town meetings. So the, the gatherings at first start as town meetings in November and then become these informal meetings of the body of the people in December. And this is where Bostonians could inform one another about the arrival of these East India, Co India Company ships. This is where they could confront the consignees and the ship owners and, um, and the customs officers and the governors and say, we don't want this tea to land. What can we do to prevent that from happening? Um, and so this is what's going on at these mass meetings in Boston.